Welcome back everybody. Today we are testing the new Storm Lightning Blackout. If you like what we do, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out on Patreon. First impressions, the Lightning Blackout feels like more ball than it should until it doesn't. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, first thoughts from some was uh, nostalgia when seeing the label. I recall the old Lightning logo as well, but I can't comment on this ball's relationship to the old stuff. But we can evaluate what we saw. And the new Lightning Blackout uses the now common Rex Pearl, but it has a new Warp AI core. Looking at the core shape, the medium RG and low diff immediately had me thinking of almost something like the Hustle lineup in some way. Um, so I immediately thought this ball would probably punch above its weight. Uh, then with the reaction, um, you know, we don't see Hustles really. <laughs> the giveaway is the stronger, pretty responsive Rex cover on the ball. Um, that's typically stronger than the Hustles uh, Hustle covers. I expected a clean ball that's a bit sharper than the IQ Tour Ruby, but maybe a little stronger as well. I'd say it's actually a good amount stronger. It would appear to theoretically be a stronger clean ball for those higher volume um, breakdowns when tour players want something clean but still gets around it. And at the same time is a step up from the typical mid late balls like the IQ Tour Ruby. So I struggled to keep it left of the head pin for a bit until I opened up enough. And once I opened up enough, I had a look in a small window, but then another board or two, and I struggled to get it to be continuous enough to carry it. And I, this perplexed me initially, but, but then it kind of made sense. I mean, it's a stronger cover, but a weaker core. So it, it looked very strong until it didn't. Once I opened up enough to compensate for the cover, the core was not my friend, at least with my river. I also won, uh, wasn't executing as well because I felt boxed in. Prior to throwing it, I, I would have thought this is a mid late ball in the arsenal, um, and I brought the ruby to test alongside. After throwing it, it really borders on mid define when angles are a little closed and mid late when they're open. And that either makes it a chameleon or sort of unusable. The other thing of note is that I feel this combination really seems to make the ball roll probably more forward than I anticipated. Now if you take a look at the ruby that I tested here, it's, you see a proper mid-late ball. Shape is very different. It's round, understandable, no surprises, doesn't have a, doesn't have a cliff the way the lightning blackout does for me. Brian's up next and the storm lightning blackout seemed to be a pretty good matchup at the outset, but let's discuss it a little further. It's of course clean, but it has a nice down lane punch. He actually sees a much more consistent reaction than I do. Essentially what happens here is he has, he's playing more direct with his style. And since he doesn't cover as many boards, he can take advantage of the more angular nature of the ball from more direct line to carry quite well. So he was inside the second arrow and a pretty good look overall with the bounce you know out to the edge of the friction he can also make parallel moves in close to the third arrow on the ball laid off just enough and still hit very well it, it didn't like puke it kind of you know knocked the pins around um pretty nicely he only lost hit when he really pushed the boundaries now to give you an idea he tests the ruby as well and you could see it's a clear step down for him and uh, as it was for me in our initial tests we all had a very good look with the ruby uh, but it was on the weaker side for Brian, which limits its use a bit for him. Now, the Lightning Blackout is a clear step up, but still a mid late ball. So it warrants some consideration for when he's on some shorter sport patterns. Uh, but even he was a bit concerned that when a mid late ball comes into play for him, is it too much? Is it too forward? Um, so hard to say for sure. Now the last part of the test is actually on the 2023 42-foot USBC Open Championships team pattern. That's a long name. Uh, but as you know, this is pretty flat, as evidenced by the first couple of shots trying to find the shot. Um, but when I do, it looks pretty good. Naturally, this is probably too clean a uh, surface to actually use if I was you know, Vegas or wherever Nationals goes. But you can clearly see how strong the ball appears with that punchy back end where you have you know uh, 
really different than a house shot look, you know, uh, oil and then a clean back. And it sees friction, really picks up revs and, and kind of goes sideways. It's, I, I would say it's a bit too punchy to actually use. Again, just a really quick look on the uh, Ruby and you can see how much more calm it is. So even though the Ruby is a shiny pearl, it can be used here. Strike and seven pin, those are pretty manageable leaves as opposed to, you know, strike, face, strike. Ultimately, it's it's gonna be interesting to see, uh, you know, where this goes. We'll come back to test with Tyler as I believe this could be a pretty decent step down ball for when you really need to open up the lanes and there's there is some friction. Additionally, if your game is conducive to more direct shots, there's a possible play here as well. Either way, I think it fits in the mid-late to mid-late plus category in the bag.